Hey guys, Brody Swisher with bowhunting.com here back with another product review. Today we're checking out some brand new gear from Bushnell. Now Bushnell always seems to be out front when it comes to some crazy technology and innovation they build into their products, particularly their rangefinders, uh, but their binos, uh, rangefinder scopes, all that stuff has some great technology and great features. Today we're going to check out a few in particular, uh, being the Nitro, the brand new Nitro binocular, the Forge binocular, as well as the Nitro rangefinder. So we'll take a look at the features, some of the specs on those, and we'll tear into the box and see what you'll find on the inside for a little bit of an unboxing on the latest stuff from Bushnell. First up though, we're gonna take a look at the brand new Nitro. Now the Nitro we're unboxing today is the 10x42. It comes in several different options, but the 10x42 is the one we've got today. Uh, the Nitro, again, we'll unbox it in just a second, but first I wanna take a look at some of the uh, details and the features you're gonna find on the outside. When you pick that box up off the store shelf, you're gonna see that it's got the XO barrier. Uh, it's an anti-water. Uh, anti-fog, smudge, debris. Uh, this is just that protective barrier to keep your lens solid, free from the junk, free from scratches. Uh, the XO barrier, the ED Prime Glass. The beauty of these products is the fact that they're built with ED Prime Glass. That's Bushnell's best glass out there, and you're going to find that good glass, their best glass, built into uh, some binos and products that are actually on the low end of the budget scale. And so, ED Prime Glass, waterproof construction. I read something saying that these, uh, the waterproof and the sealing that they put into this uh, has allowed these to be submerged and uh, free of any water and moisture on the inside, even submerged in three foot of water for 30 minutes. So they've done a really good job at beefing, up, beefing these items up to protect them from the water, the elements, the rain. Uh, also lead free glass, it's a environmental friendly lead free glass if you're into that stuff for the environment. Uh, also the P3C prism phase coating. Um, is built in there. A lot of coating, a lot of uh, protection on these optics, and then you find the multi, multi the fully multi coated optics uh, throughout. So uh, again, a lot of stuff that's built into a very budget friendly bino, uh, but a lot of stuff to protect them from the inside out. And so good stuff there. Uh, again, it's a 10 by 42. It's 340 feet field of view. Uh, eye relief of 17 millimeter. Exit pupil 4.2 millimeter. Uh, these weigh in at just 24.4 ounces. Uh, they have a length of 5.5 inches. So let's tear into this box. Um, let's get started here and see what we've got. The Nitro 10 by 42. Open them up. You've got a little intro card telling you about the details, all the skinny on these, how to set them up to get them adjusted for your eye. Uh, adjusting the left, adjusting the right, kind of the standard procedure there for getting dialed in and focused in. Uh, so just kind of an information card there. Uh, pulling that out. Looks like it on the box. So inside you find uh, just a nice hard shell case. It's, uh, it's got little hooks on here. I'm sure there's probably a strap or something on the inside to hook in there if you want to carry that strap with you or carry that case with you. A nice hard shell protective case so when you're done uh, for the day, done hunting or whatever, you can throw it back in that hard shell case, keep it in the back of the truck. Uh, nice protection from that. So let's unzip that. Going on the inside here, uh, let's start with some accessories here. Uh, you're going to see it's got a little mesh net with uh, all the goodies from the inside. Looks like a strap. Uh, another strap here. This uh, I guess would be the strap. Yeah, this would be the strap uh, that goes again on the outside hooks. Uh, strap for your neck. Uh, again, the standard uh, eye cup cover on the front there. Uh, lens cloth comes with the lens cloth. So that's a nice little add-on, a little feature thrown in there. Uh, the lens cloth to keep you and your optics clear and free of the dirt. You can clean them up. Lens cloth there. And then the binos themselves. Let's tear into that. Nice little silky bag there. Take that bag, keep it, chunk it, whatever you want to do with it. Getting down to the nitty gritty here, we find the actual binocular here, the Nitro 10x42. Uh, got a nice uh, housing on them, a nice kind of rubberized feel to a grippy feel. Uh, so they're not slipping a slide in your hand. I uh, really like that. Uh, you got your uh, standard eye. I say you got your standard eye cup. These are actually pretty slick. Look here. The beauty of this I'm seeing real quick is the fact that these little glass covers are actually attached. You know, so many times they've just got a rubber band that goes around and uh, it doesn't take long in the woods and you lose those and they're off, they're detached and they're gone, lost forever. These have actually got, I don't know if you can see there, but they've actually got 
uh, attached to the bino themselves and so that is a very nice feature uh, just a really good feel to those i'm gonna look out the window and see we haven't taken the time to dial them in for me but just scrolling through here um, i'm picking up and seeing just some really good very sharp very clear glass again that's that ed glass is very very good stuff from bushy now it's their best glass uh, and I'm seeing that just looking down the driveway out on the front of the property here a couple hundred yards and uh, Just really sharp really clear glass. So uh, the beauty of these again, man You're coming at a price point with these nitros coming in at right at 350 bucks or so really good ED glass very sharp and very clear glass uh, Great features built into this so really liking what I see so far at a great price point very budget friendly binos here and so uh, be sure to check those out, the Bushnell Nitro. All right, moving on, we're going to check out the Bushnell Forge next. The Bushnell Forge is kind of that next step up uh, in the Bushnell product line, uh, the Bushnell Forge. And so these drop down here. Let's take a look at what the Forge has to offer. Same kind of deal, uh, just a little setup guide, kind of little details and features about the Forge glass. You're going to see there probably some instructions warranty information probably in about five different languages so there's that for you as well uh, again the same kind of uh, hard case there it's bigger frame binoculars so bigger package deal all the way around but again that same case for carrying that when you're done keeping it safe digging in you're going to see the same kind of stuff the content you got the eyepiece cover you got straps again the strap there for your hard case uh, we've got a we've got the neoprene strap. I don't know if we got into this on the last set of yeah, nice, really nice neoprene strap. A lot of these binoculars out there they come with just a really cheap strap that's kind of a pain, literally in the neck. Uh, but that is a very nice Bushnell neoprene strap, so uh, it's going to keep you nice and comfy as you wear those around your neck. If you go for that option, wear them around your neck. So. Uh, be a Bushnell neoprene neck strap. Uh, again, the lens cloth there as well. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. <clears throat> oh, it's a back harness. If you want to throw it over your shoulders, you got the harness for going over your shoulders. So you got the neck strap option. So kind of a cool deal. The guys have put in the neck strap option as well as. Uh, the old shoulder harness if you wanted to do that. And this is obviously not set up for a big boy size just yet, but uh, it's got that. You can hook in your binos You're right there. If you want that to take the pressure off your neck, you got that. So uh, really cool option there. Bushnell logo on the back of that for your back. Getting back into the binos itself here. Uh, same kind of deal. The forge come in that slick velvet case bag. Getting on into it. And you can see again, the Forge is a bigger uh, housing, bigger frame bino. These are the 8x42s, um, but the same kind of stuff, man. It's all built in there. You've got those, uh, again, the attached uh, glass covers, very nice. Uh, got a really good feel to them. They're not too light, but not too heavy at all. And uh, looking out again out the window here across the front property, uh, just really, really sharp, really clear glass. Really like what I'm seeing. These are the 8x42s. And, uh, no doubt these are going to be slick. I had a fox run across the property here this morning while I was cooking breakfast and I uh, was looking and scrambling for some binos. I wish I'd had these in my hands because these have uh, been fun to put to the test on some wild critters. So looking forward to trying these out. Uh, very good stuff. Uh, again, you heard the features a moment ago built into these. Uh, a lot of protection uh, for the glass to keep you high, keep you dry, keep you free from uh, the fog, uh, smudges and smears, debris, scratches. Um, the guys have gone out of their way. These uh, Forge 8x42s are coming in at right at 479 So again, a very uh, budget-friendly price uh, for a very high-feature pack bino. So be sure you check out those, the Bushnell Forge uh, 8x42s is what these are. Uh, but again, they come in a variety of different options as well. Now moving on to the Nitro Rangefinder. This is a obviously a very light rangefinder. I can just tell that by holding the package. It's very light. Uh, but the Nitro Rangefinder, some of the details on the outside of the package you're going to read. Uh, it's got the Exo Barrier we've talked about on the previous products. Exo Barrier for that anti-water, anti-fog, uh, anti-smudge and debris, uh, keeping that glass clean and clear. 
Uh, it's got a distance of one mile. I don't know how many rangefinders out there are giving you a mile of distance reading, uh, but this one says a distance of one mile. It's got that arc mode, the arc being that angle range compensation, okay? So uh, giving you that incline, decline, it's kind of the technology that has put Bushnell on the map. So good stuff from the arc mode, I love that. Uh, it's got a scan mode, uh, so good stuff from that in the way of the rangefinder. Six by 20 millimeter. Uh, other things, like I said, it's got the scan mode, it's got a bush mode, or excuse me, a brush mode. Uh, that brush mode is going to be huge because I read up on this a little bit and I found that the brush mode is, is that mode that allows you to kick back to your target. All the brush, all the junk, the debris in front of you, between you and your target that's uh, often obstructing your range finding ability, this here kicks beyond that brush, beyond the stuff that's between you and your target and allows you to focus in and key in and get the range on your target out there. That deer standing out there and it's not kicking in and trying to dial in on the tree or the limb that's between you. and So that brush mode's gonna be a huge feature. I really like the fact that that's built into this. So let's tear into the box a little bit and see what we've got here on the Nitro rangefinder. Uh, again, same kind of card, set up, how to do your batteries, some of the basics on that. <clears throat> Got a little lens cloth in there as well. Again, just a very light rangefinder. I can tell that, man. I could tell it by picking up the box, but uh, once I get it in the hand, man, just a really tiny little dude. So I've got a pretty chunky hand. You can see that's just palm size. So really nice, light. Uh, wearing that around your neck, you're not gonna know it's there. Putting in your pocket, uh, fitting that shirt pocket. So uh, a really cool little rangefinder. You're gonna see um, that that is picking up some serious distance, serious range, and uh, in a very light and tight, compact package. I guess on the back here is your battery case. Yeah, you can see your battery in the back there. A single battery, and it is a uh, CR2 battery, okay? CR2 battery in the back. Uh, your button's right there on the top, and so, uh, let's see if we can kick out through here. I'll have to go through and check out features and set up, We're just clicking through here. Front button kind of controls the different modes you want to set it on. Brush mode, target mode. So we'll play around there and check out the features on that. But again, the Bushnell Nitro Rangefinder, 1,000 yard readout, very light, very tight little compact unit. So looking forward to putting that around my neck and trying that out on the range. The Nitro Rangefinder from Bushnell. So there you have it, some great new stuff from Bushnell. Be sure to check them out. The Bushnell Forge binoculars, the Bushnell Nitro binos, and then again, the Bushnell Nitro Rangefinder. Lots of great new stuff as we get into the 2019 hunting season. Springtime turkey season just coming right around the corner. Check these products out. You can check them out at bushnell.com. Be sure to tell them your friends from bowhunting.com sent you. Shoot straight, God bless.